Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Radi, and here at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama, one of the world's truly great space museums and the home of Space Camp, uh, one of the truly unique experiences for young people as well as for adults. We're down here commemorating the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon mission on July 20, 1969, landing man on the moon for the first time, the world's most incredible uh, voyage of uh, discovery. We've got Tara Sweeney here, who is the vice president uh, of Space Camp, a Space Camp alumni, a proud graduate, 1995 graduate of the United States Air Force Academy. Tara, thanks very much for making time for us. Thanks for being here. We really appreciate you showcasing what we do down here. Um, I, I think it's really amazing. It's just a terrific uh, museum and what you do is really, really incredible. I know that uh, Dr. Von Brown, Werner Von Brown, the father of America's uh, space program and the man who made the, the moon landing possible was uh, not only the founder of the museum but the founder of Space, uh, space Camp uh, before he uh, passed away. Talk to us a little bit about what Space Camp is, how many folks go through it a year, and the kind of different experiences you guys provide people, because it's really having an incredible effect on people's lives, including yours and uh, some of the life decisions that you made. It really is. So we like to think that we have the pleasure of keeping Dr. Von Braun's DNA in everything we do and try to inspire the next generation of those who want to reach for the stars and become the next great aviators and launch robotics into uh, new new spaces and help code for the future. So through our space aviation, robotics, and cyber camps, we are grateful that we get to help inspire that generation. For, for us, we get to see about 45 to 50,000 kids annually, which is really a spectacular uh, experience when you're, we, get to, we get entrusted with a thousand or so kids every week. And that's really uh, spectacular for us that we get to put our passion, excitement, and enthusiasm into everything we do on their behalf to help them help chart their future. But like you said, it's not just for, for kids. One of my favorite uh, interactions with people when I'm out and about is to say, they'll come back to me and say, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't get to go to space camp when I was growing up. I'll say, but wait, we have adult camp. And it's, uh, it's really spectacular to watch our adult campers come through the program and have a wonderful time. Um, yeah, I mean, that's something that we actually wanted to do a long time ago because of the, they were scheduling things and, and family reasons and we couldn't do it. So that's something that uh, is worth uh, bearing in mind. So tell us how it affected your life because you're also a Space Camp Hall of Famer. There are uh, seven uh, folks who actually went on to become astronauts. So, so tell us how it's actually meaningfully changing and affecting people's lives over the long term. Well, th thank you. I appreciate that. It, this is an amazing place. and. I came here when I was in eighth grade and apologize because that emotion just starts welling up inside of me. And I knew after six days of being here as a 14 year old kid, what I wanted to go off and do for the rest of my life. I knew I was going to go to the Air Force Academy, wanted to serve as an Air Force officer. I went off and built a whole career on science and technology. I'm a pilot. I have five hours in microgravity as part of uh, a one of our national uh, parabolic flight teams and it's just been an incredible ride and I can trace so much of that excitement and, and passion back to my time here, my six days here at Space Camp and as one of this organization's leaders now it's amazing to stand before my team and say this is the impact we get to have on our trainees every single day that we get them for two days or three days or six days or so and we get to help change their lives and help them chart their future for themselves. Um, you know, one of the things which I think is really, I mean, I think that's an incredible story. And it, you also have astronauts uh, in your number as well who came here both before and after they became astronauts. Absolutely. We have seven trainees who grew up to become and realize that portion of their astronaut dreams. We actually have Christina Koch, who's up on the International Space Station right now, who's a Space Camp alum. We just had Dr. Serena Unknown Chancellor come down from the space station at the end of last year. So it's remarkable to be able to take our trainees outside right now, help them spot the station in the night sky. And as they're in awe of seeing this streak across the sky, to be able to say, and we have a space camp trainee up there right now. And it really helps put into this awesome perspective of just how powerful it is what we do here. 
Um, I think what you also do, and, and if you hear a rumble in the background, that's the Orion going to Mars uh, right now. Uh, and it's just cool to be able to say that. Hopefully we'll be able to say that for real one of these days. Um, you know, each one of these modules is also extremely realistic if you look at it from a, from the standpoint of, for example, a procedures trainer or something like that. Talk to us about all of the different kinds of things, whether they're kids, uh, whether they're young kids, whether they're teenagers or adults. What sort of realistic planning, you know, some of the procedures and evolutions you guys do aren't just sort of like five minutes and you hit a couple of buttons. They're three hours of very actual type. You know, talk to us about all of the kinds of things you guys do to give people that experience, to give people that sense of what it's like to perform some of these complex missions? So first and foremost, we like to promote just how foundational the knowledge is that we provide to them so that they just have a working knowledge of history, whether it, regardless of what camp they're going through. But then we try to take them through their training in as realistic simulators as possible. So kids get to come here and, and participate in simulators that just aren't available elsewhere. And then we transition them to an amazing mission floor like you see behind us right here. And here we have space shuttle platforms, we have NASA Space Launch System Orion platforms, we have uh, modules from the International Space Station, and just recently we just opened up some brand new Mars domes that's just going to revolutionize how our trainees think about all of the needs that are going to take for us to build a Martian colony or a lunar colony. And it's exciting because we bring that realism to them and it is more impactful. Now, when I get to stand up at graduations, I tell the trainees, and often they're from all of our programs, that I hope that they learned an immense amount of knowledge during their time here with us. But I ask them to do three things when they leave uh, this amazing institution, and that's to keep dreaming out loud, share your intentions, share your desires of who it is you want to be and what it is you want to do with all of your friends and family members and colleagues and teachers around you so that everyone can help you achieve what it is you want to do. I ask them to know that what I think is some of the most important things of the space camp experience is that we know what it means to elevate and uplift each other in everything we do because we know we rise together. And we mean that both literally and figuratively. And that's uh, really an, an amazing, amazing feeling. But we know the importance of the crew concept. So every time trainees come here, they get built into built-in teams of approximately 16 kids. And what we think the crew concept means is from the moment they arrive here, they realize that everybody on the everybody has a place on the team and every position on that team is important to mission success. And I ask them to take that back to their classrooms and their families and their athletic teams and their places of worship and wherever they can build a team and camaraderie around them to know that everybody has a place on the team and everybody on that team is important to mission to success no matter how they define that mission to be. Um, that's uh... Uh, that's really incredible because and, and that is true right I mean these are some of the most foundational lessons of life whether you know you're in a professional setting or, or even a family right I mean there's a, there's a way to look at that that everybody is in it together and they're pulling together um, so one of uh, the questions is um, what's the investment that folks will have to be thinking about to, to do this uh, whether it's for adult and I know you have a variety of different programs but as a rule of thumb you know if folks want to think about sending uh, you know their kid or their uh, teenager you know what should they be roughly thinking about because you guys also do have uh, you know dorm space for younger folks as well although adults may want to stay in the Marriott next door <laughs> yes we will accommodate them in our habitats if they'd like the complete experience <laughs> but we have a different price points for our two three day and six day but generally for our six day programs it's about a thousand dollar price point and in that with a full room and board uh, awesome crew galley experience <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, just the amazing resources that we have here. Um, and uh, what does uh, an average day look like, right? I mean, like what, when, do you, when do you start and when are you putting your head on your uh, uh, foam pillow? We're, and the and, uh, kids are here getting ready for an EVA behind us, which I think is also really, really awesome. I love that. This is my favorite part, is just seeing them overcome with any sense of nervousness or excitement that they have so they can get up there and actually accomplish the mission that the team needs them to accomplish. But they've been going since 6.30, 7.30 this morning, and they're gonna keep going officially until about 9.30, but you know, it's camp. Right. So <laughs> that hour gets extended a little bit here and there. But wow. they have a full day of activities. We try to keep them engaged, give them some downtime, um, intersperse the, you know, the 
active activities with more of the passive activities where they can just kind of decompress a little bit, have some team bonding, just get to know one another. What we love here is I think if our total is still accurate through this year, we've, we usually touch about 153 countries. And that's really spectacular when kids from around the world can come together within a team or just in a group setting from all over the world. It just exposes them to opportunities that they wouldn't generally have at that age of their lives. Um, and uh, this is the ammonia tank repair that they're going to be doing? It sure is. Good job. <laughs> that's outstanding. Yeah, it's I tend to listen really, really well. <laughs> No, it's and it's really fun. I mean, uh, I, having have five, having five hours in wait, as weightless in microgravity, this is really awesome for me. When I got to go up there and uh, perform a mission with my team, I, when I came back down off of that after feeling weightless for so long, it made me think of what I felt like uh, after coming down off the plane. That's, that uh, gravity is real, <laughs> and uh, you, you can feel it. Yes. And, uh, and, and uh, depending on who you are, you may uh, actually uh, throw up or not, uh, but hopefully you get well medicated before you go up to do that. And, and uh, before we go, uh, one question. It is the 50th anniversary of uh, the Apollo 11 moon landing. There's a lot of focus on that. Uh, I'm one of the people who was a little bit disappointed that there wasn't a greater celebration around Apollo 8, uh, 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 a crew that uh, was the first to leave Earth orbit and actually go to another body, that real pioneering mission done very, very quickly with uh, an extraordinary team, all of whom are, are fortunately still with us and still alive. Talk to us about how you guys are working to try to commemorate Apollo 11 and bring it to a new generation of kids who may actually not really know as much about it as our generation did. Well, I'll say in the nine months that I've had the pleasure of serving in this role, I think it's one of those awesome gifts that we have to help showcase the, <laughs> the pioneering spirit of this amazing city. Huntsville, Alabama, that the Rocket Center can play such a role in helping to commemorate all of those awesome activities. So this Huntsville is going to be the place to be in mid-July. We have a whole slate of activities both here at the Rocket Center and throughout Huntsville. Um, we are excited uh, from the Space Camp team in particular because on July 16th we are going to be setting our world record for launching 5,000 rockets simultaneously right here from our Space Camp launch pad and we are so excited about that. But even more importantly, that is going to kick off a 24-hour period where throughout the world we are going to be launching a global rocket launch. And we are excited and so proud of our team for being able to put together a package of information that's available at rocketcenter.com so that anyone from around the world can learn what it takes to launch a rocket in their own backyard. We provide all the resources, all the knowledge, the know-how on how you can be creative and gather the supplies around you and uh, help participate in this awesome experience. We hope it's going to elevate and uplift each other to know that we can be united around space exploration and where we're headed in the future while honoring the amazing advancements that we are the product of today. Tara Sweeney, who is the Vice President uh, here at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center for uh, Space Camp. Thank you so much. Thanks for all uh, that you're doing. Thanks for your service and, uh, you know, uh, for shaping young minds who are going to be uh, the, the astronauts, engineers, physicists, and scientists of the future. Thanks so much. Well, thank you. On behalf of the entire team here at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, it's absolutely our pleasure and our gift to be able to work with such exciting kids and adults alike. Yeah. Thanks very much and look forward to coming and uh, seeing you guys again. Look forward to it, too. Thank you.